Hello and uh, welcome to this week's TSN Coaches Show. Um, I am Bart Harvey alongside head football coach Jeff Devaney and uh, we're going to discuss uh, Trinity's decisive victory over Williams, 38 to nothing. Um, to start coach, uh, you, you guys are really dominated across the board. Um, what really stuck out to you as the reason for your dominating play? You know, I thought, first of all, I think our offensive staff had a great game plan. And, um, you know, attacking what Williams what, what Williams gave you defensively. And you saw it right from the opening drive. that We would spread the ball around a little bit. You know, we had eight or nine different people carry the ball. I think it was hard that we kept the defense off balance between the run and the pass. And then our players just executed. Like, you know, the week before, we had you know, executed up and down the field and stalled. And this, this week, we just executed all the way into the end zone. Um, like you said, uh, you had many guys touch the ball in the backfield. Um, eight ended up with uh, more than 20 rushing yards. Um, going forward, how do you look to utilize that depth in the backfield? Yeah, I think that's what we're trying to be. I mean, we have so much skill on offense. We don't have, you know, just one or two receivers. We have four or five guys that we can get the ball to. Um, we have a couple different tailbacks, although Chudy has certainly kind of taken the lead in that. We have a couple other guys that are talented to get the ball to. I think it makes it tougher for us to defend if we can spread it out a little bit. And, and, and our receivers are very skilled. A couple of them were running backs in high school, so we're doing some things to get them to hand them the ball and, and not just relying on getting them the ball in the passing game. Um, as you said, uh, Chudy was really the main guy featured, and he ended up in the end zone uh, four separate occasions. Uh, what makes him such an effective red zone threat? Well, Chudy, is a da he's just been great at running the offense where it's designed to be run. And he's really hitting the holes hard, and he's very decisive as a running back. The one thing that he's been, that's kind of been an extra with him is he's making guys miss, too. So he's hitting the hole, and then that first tackler that's there, he's avoiding that first tackler. He jumped over a guy yesterday. He made a cut, he jump cut a couple of guys. And then when he gets in that second level, he's a physical kid. I mean, their safety at Williams, I think, is a very good player. And they had a heck of a collision when he came down to hit Judy. Um, offensively, you mentioned that you guys were extremely effective. Um, averaged almost six and a half yards per play. Uh, you converted eight of your 13 third downs. Uh, how much of that effective play starts with the quarterback position? Well, there's no question that when your quarterback plays like Henry played, it makes us difficult to defend. And, we had a couple third and three, third and fives where we threw the ball. You know, he, he hit uh, Darian Myers on a bubble pass, hit Chris Ragone on a, on a slant, uh, hit Ian Duggar on a third and long on a double move. So when we become less predictable, we're able to be uh, efficient passing the ball. I think it makes us tough to defend. Um, and on the defensive side of things, you guys were also very dominant. Um, shut out the Williams offense, held them to only nine first downs. Uh, what, what did you see that made the defense so effective on uh, Saturday? The two things that I saw, I saw some guy, I saw guys playing off blocks. You know, early on in that game, Tom Szymanski played off a couple of blocks on some screen plays and made plays. Um, we had a couple defensive li uh, linemen, uh, particularly Lyle Baker, who played off some blocks and made plays. So on the defensive side of the ball, I don't think so much it was scheme as it was guys making plays. And then we had tremendous effort to the ball. So there's some great pictures of, you know, one of our guys making a tackle or maybe even missing a tackle on a cutback and three other guys, you know, being there when the ball carrier cut back. So I was really impressed with that. Um, and lastly, coming off such an important and decisive victory, um, how do you sort of level the heads of your players going into uh, next week's matchup against Hamilton? Yeah, that's going to be part of our job as coaches is to play psychologist this week. And, uh, you know, we've got to get our guys to understand that, the goal wasn't to go 2-0, you know, so we haven't reached any goal. We've played really well in week two, and that's awesome. And but if we want to reach our goals, we have to get better this week than we were last week. Um, and so it comes down to one of those things where I don't really care who the opponent is. We just have to get better as individuals and as a team to reach our goal. So I think we have a lot of seniors on the team. I think they're hungry to win a championship coming off of the disappointment last year. And I'd like to think that the seniors are going to let that that uh, that, that trap game thing happen to us. Um, well, thank you very much, Coach, for sure. sitting down with us. Um, good luck next week, and uh, we look forward to talking with you after your uh, matchup against Hamilton. Thank you.